In Decision 2024, Republican Tim Sheehy, who is challenging incumbent U.S. Senator John Tester, made a campaign stop in Kalispell for a Save America rally. People packed the Flathead County Expo Center, leaving standing room only. During the rally, conservative political commentator Ben Shapiro and Governor Greg Gianforte declared their support for Sheehy and former President Donald Trump. Sheehy discussed topics like health care, his career in the military and public land use. I put my life on the line to protect your public lands. Me and my pilots strap ourselves into aluminum tubes and go out and fly through smoke and ash and flame to protect our public lands. But guess what? Public lands belong to you, the public. That's who they belong to. They belong to you. NBC Montana's Jacob Owens with a closer look at the high-profile guest we're seeing this election cycle. The political spotlight is on Montana. For several months now, the state's been a hotbed for out-of-state conservatives to stump for GOP Senate candidate Tim Sheehy. Control of the U.S. Senate could hinge on whether the veteran and businessman is able to oust three-term Democratic U.S. Senator John Tester. And people like Ben Shapiro know it. It's not just slight differences in the marginal tax rate. What's at stake here is not merely the trajectory of spending, which unfortunately has been not great under both parties. What's at stake here are fundamental values, fundamental American values. Some notable names who've come to support Sheehy include former U.S. Representative Tulsi Gabbard this summer and political activist Charlie Kirk. Maybe more revealing is the influx of elected Republicans campaigning alongside the former Navy SEAL. The list includes South Carolina U.S. Senator Tim Scott, Iowa U.S. Senator Joni Ernst, and the biggest headliner of all, former President Donald Trump, who hosted a Bozeman rally in August. It's quite the contrast to Senator John Tester, who shied away from National Democrats. Earlier this year, Tester abstained from voting for presidential candidate Kamala Harris in his role as one of the state's Democratic delegates. We'll see which strategy plays out best in two weeks and keep you updated in the meantime. Reporting in Missoula, Jacob Owens, NBC, Montana.